next on Eyewitness News. A look at when the heaviest rain will move into the metro area. Crescent City Connection tolls are set to expire at year's end, but a task force is recommending they continue. I'm Scott Satchfield. Coming up tonight, people on both sides of this emotional issue got a chance to speak out. One local family ran into a roadblock when they tried to get help for a troubled otter. Their story coming up. The Globetrotting Saints were in Denver today, the fifth city in which they put on their helmets in the last nine days. They're going after the Looks like yesterday. We're going to take a look back at some of the most memorable moments in Jim Henderson's career here at Channel 4 as he delivers his last sportscast and commentary. From WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana, this is Louisiana's News Leader. Channel 4's Eyewitness News Night Watch. Good evening, I'm Dennis Walter. And I'm Karen Swenson. Topping our news, strong storms could be moving into the metro area over the next few hours. Chief Meteorologist Carl Arredondo joins us from the Weather Center with a look at when the system will move in. Carl? Well, Karen and Dennis, we're looking at mainly light rain for the overnight hours, and any heavy downpours will be tomorrow. Don't think we'll have any threat of severe weather. Take a look at uh, Pinpoint Doppler. You can see to our west, that's where most of the rain is right now, but a little closer look. Uh, we had had a couple of showers here and there. Slido had a little rain earlier this evening. Not a lot out there right now. So your outlook for the rest of the evening, 20% chance uh, right now after midnight, about a 30% chance through the morning commute time, but I think mid-morning through the early evening hours tomorrow, that chance of rain will will go up. I'll tell you how high coming up in my pinpoint forecast. All right, Carl, thank you. New Orleans police are investigating their latest murder tonight. It happened just before 7.30 tonight in the 14,700 block of Chef Mentor Highway in New Orleans East. Investigators say a man was found shot to death inside a car in the parking lot of an apartment building at that location. The victim's identity is being withheld until family members are notified. This is the city's 25th murder of the year. Now to an ongoing issue involving millions of dollars. Tonight, residents had another chance to sound off on a potential end to tolls on the Crescent City Connection. Scott Sashfield joins us live from Marrero with some of their concerns. Good evening, Scott. Well, good evening. Right, the tolls are set to expire at the end of this year, but a task force that has studied the situation is recommending that they remain in place. The task force says toll money is still needed to operate and maintain the bridge and ferries, but some elected officials and one dissenting member of the task force, they aren't, they aren't buying it, saying money has been misused and wasted for years. Tonight, a vocal majority of residents in the room agreed with that point of view, as explained now by State Representative Pat Connick. They have to go, and uh, we're not second-class citizens. You know, we pay our taxes, and we want the same benefits like everybody else in the state. Uh, for years, we've given over $400, $400 million in extra money on these tolls, and it's been wasted for the most part. It's been misspent, mismanaged. The amount that is available is about $4.6 million. You just can't do that. You just can't finish, you get, get the projects done. You can't uh, uh, operate without, uh, with that little amount of money. You get to a situation where you just don't have enough money to do the things that are mandated by the legislature for the CCD to do. And residents also got a chance to speak out at the end of tonight's meeting. Now the task force is submitting its findings to the state legislature, but it, of course, is unclear what state lawmakers may decide to do with those results. One other official quickly who believes the tolls should come to an end, State Treasurer John Kennedy, who said tonight the bridge and ferries can still be maintained with other funding sources. Reporting live, Scott Satchfield, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Scott. A HOA family says they are not happy with the way the Audubon Zoo handled an otter that they brought in for help. They named it Chip, and the family turned to the zoo only after his health took a turn for the worse. As Tanya Dahl explains, now they want him back. He would like run up, play, you know, come try to dry off on you, look around, like you know, he it was almost trying to play tag with you. Playful, goofy, and all-out crazy. That's how Teddy Chasson and his wife Katina described the otter. They spent weeks nursing back to health. When we found him, he was about yay big and fit in both my hands. And he, um, his legs were hurt in the back. He could, he would just kind of scoot a little bit. Three months later, the otter was introduced back into the wild, which happens to be this home of family's backyard, at least a hundred acres in Bayou Grand Caillou. We would take the fish and throw it in the bay and, and show him, look, this is where you got to go. 
Well, he started getting good and he'd catch crab and then he started actually catching fish. He'd chirp at the back door and, you know, like, let me in, let me in, let me in, and he wouldn't stop till you'd open the door and give him some attention. The family says Chip showed up sick one day, forcing Teddy to drive the otter to the Audubon Zoo for treatment. The family expected he'd come back home, but he's still at the zoo. We tried seeing what we can do to see him, you know, to get him back with us, and, you know, the zoo pretty much point blank told us, you know, you dropped off the animal, you didn't want him, you know, you'd... He just threw them away pretty much, which is definitely not the case. Zoo officials in the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries maintain returning Chip to the bayou would be against state law. The Chessons, and certainly a Good Samaritan role, did the right thing uh, by bringing that animal uh, to an institution that could care for that animal, but uh, they cannot, in fact, uh, repossess that animal since they're not permitted to keep live wild animals. It's not to say he's ours, because he's really we're more like his. This heartbroken Terrebonne Parish family disagrees and says Chip needs to come home. I just want him to live free, you know. It's, it's where he belongs. It's a good place for him. And the Chasson family says they've made many attempts to apply for a rehabilitator permit, but have been unsuccessful. A zoo spokeswoman says because Chip is domesticated, the plan, at least for now, is to send him to an accredited facility where wildlife professionals can introduce him to other otters. Dennis and Karen? Sounds like the story isn't over yet. Thank you. I don't think so. Still to come, a resounding win in the Florida primary for frontrunner Mitt Romney. Results up next. And later in sports, sports legend Jim Henderson will sign off for the final time here at Channel 4. But not before we take a look back at some of his most memorable moments over the last 34 years. The Milwaukee homicide rate was reduced by 52 percent. Mayor Mitch Landrieu is pushing for another city's crime plan in New Orleans. But will the Milwaukee model work here at home? Find out as Paul Murphy travels north to talk to critics and supporters. Thursday at 10 on Channel 4. The Lion King premieres at the Mahalia Jackson Theater for five weeks only in March. Get your tickets now. It's Cadillac of Metairie's annual winter savings event. Save big on all Cadillacs in stock. The popular CTS, the SRX Crossover, and the world's premier SUV, the Escalade. The annual winter savings event, now at Cadillac of Metairie. An old friend is getting a new face. Oh, not me. Door Furniture. This week, save 40 to 60% store-wide at Door Furniture. You're going to love the new look, but first, hundreds of items must be sold. Plus, free financing till 2013. Savings to 60% on America's finest quality furniture. Door Furniture. At the corner of Elysian Fields in Burgundy. Don't miss this opportunity to save at Door. What would you call an ordinary breakfast pastry that's been wrapped in a flaky crust, stuffed with a gooey center, toasted up all golden brown, then given a delicious design? A toaster strudel. Pillsbury toaster strudel. So delicious, so fun. Hey, honey. Mom, we're dying. No, you're not. You're just hungry. Make some Totino's pizza rolls. We don't have any. Front. Left. Totino's. Well done, Mom. Less drama, more fun. Totino's Pizza Rolls. What is diabetes? It's a silent killer capable of robbing you blind, stealing your hearing, and breaking your heart. Nearly 6 out of 10 adults in the greater New Orleans area are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. But Text for Health, a new text message-based diabetes prevention service, can help keep you out of that number. Text HEALTH to 300-400 to learn about your diabetes risk and tips for healthier living. Play Louisiana Powerball Jackpot $170 million Wednesday. No, don't avoid bath. You're rocking new glasses and a lot of spandex in a good way. Now get two complete pairs of eyeglasses, including no-line bifocals, just $99. iMasters. That works. Download our free app for your smartphone at www.ltv.com. CBS News is projecting Mitt Romney has won the Florida primary. It is his second primary victory, containing the biggest haul of delegates in the 2012 campaign. 
But it was an expensive campaign. Romney and his supporters spent more than $14 million on television ads to secure Florida. Recent debates were also a factor, with two-thirds of voters saying they helped to make up their minds. And one-third of voters faulted each Romney and Gingrich for running the most unfair campaign. A competitive primary does not divide us. It prepares us, and we will win. We are going to contest every place, and we are going to win, and we will be in Tampa as the nominee in August. Rick Santorum is already campaigning in Nevada. Ron Paul also bypassed Florida to concentrate on Nevada and other caucus states. Now, with Pinpoint Weather, Chief Meteorologist Carl Arredondo. Well, as we check out our morning temperatures today, we had uh, temperatures uh, this morning. Let's go to the other graphic, the other source, uh, Max, and we'll show you that uh, temperatures were in the uh, upper 50s to around 60 degrees across our area for today, above the average of 46. Our afternoon highs, again, running warmer than what we should be. Mid-70s over most of the area. 63 is our average temperature this time of year. Let's look outside and show you what's happening. At Armstrong International, you can see it's mostly cloudy, 68. 66 at Audubon, 65 Slidell. The Humidity 84%, a southeast wind at 7, uh, the dew point high at 63, and a steady barometer. Had a couple of showers around the area today. One little shower went through the Slidell area earlier this evening, you can see there, and some moving off towards the north. So just a couple of isolated showers still possible until midnight. After midnight, maybe a 30% chance as a lot of this moisture to our west starts to get closer to us, and there's more moisture offshore in the western Gulf of Mexico that will be moving in our direction. So our chance of rain definitely going up for tomorrow. So 30% chance for the morning commute time. This model has a lot of showers just to our west. So I think by mid-morning, maybe 9 o'clock or so, that chance of rain will go up to 60% for showers, maybe even a thunderstorm. Can't rule out a heavy downpour or two through the noontime hour and then through the early afternoon have a chance for rain and through the evening hours, but I think as we get past the early evening hours, that chance of rain will start to go down and then it'll go down to about 20% for Friday, but we'll still stay in the 70s uh, for Thursday into Friday as well. So for tonight, low temperatures in the low to mid 60s through the morning hours. Spotty showers could start to develop after midnight and towards daybreak. Into the afternoon hours, temperatures in the 70s, scattered showers or thunderstorms, especially increasing by mid morning through the afternoon hours and early evening time frame. Here's a look at your pinpoint seven day forecast. You can see 70s all the way through the weekend and 70s for Thursday for Groundhog Day as well. So it does look like we're going to see warmer than average temperatures. Maybe by Sunday and Monday, those uh, temperatures will go down. On behalf of myself and the Channel 4 meteorologist, we want to wish Jim a happy retirement. You will be greatly missed, but never replaced. Absolutely. Oh, Thanks, nice. Carl. When we return, the Jefferson Parish landmark is set to close tomorrow. We'll tell you why. Plus, the Department of Justice steps in to file suit against St. Bernard Parish for discrimination. Details next. Get a $120 voucher from Spotlight Shine Mobile Detailing for only $59 until midnight. Log on to Yellow.com today. Southeast Louisiana, buy Hyundai, buy today. Buy Hyundai for as low as $169 a month. Get the number one selling Sonata, the number one warranty, and even the 2012 North American Car of the Year, the Hyundai Elantra. Buy Hyundai, buy today. Buy Hyundai for as low as $169 a month. Award-winning vehicles, America's best warranty, thousands less at your Southeast Louisiana Hyundai dealer. And visit us online, buy Hyundai, buy today. Sore throat pain can be dreadful. Sepacol gives powerful, lasting relief. Mm -hmm. Because the numbing medicine in Sepacol is the maximum strength you can get without a prescription. Tame your painful sore throat with Sepacol. <coughs> if you have a wet cough caused by mucus, you're gonna love our Copacabana specialty. Or an irritating dry cough. Try the safety delight. Maximum strength Mucinex DM quiets wet and dry coughs for 12 hours. Mucinex in, mucus out. Does your business have the financial control it needs? Here's what you can expect from Regions. A bank that provides you with real business expertise. Check. A professional optimization of your cash flow with a Regions Cash Core Analysis. Check. Cash management solutions and the smart lending options you need to grow your business. Check. Plus, it all comes with award-winning service to help you achieve more balance. Interested? Let's talk. Looking good. The refrigerator has never been hacked. An online virus 
has never attacked a cork board. Give your customers the added feeling of security a printed statement or receipt provides. With mail, it's good for your business and even better for your customers. For safe and secure ways to stay connected, visit usps.com slash mail. For nearly three centuries, Catholic schools have provided the best in education for children. They instill self-confidence within the framework of Catholic morals and values. Catapult Learning, the leading provider of educational programs nationwide, provides reading and math instruction in many of the area Catholic schools. Small groups of students receive individual instruction from certified teachers and assistants during school, after school, and in the summer. Catapult Learning, joining Catholic schools in providing an education of value. The U.S. Department of Justice has sued St. Bernard Parish for discrimination for allegedly limiting rental housing for African Americans after Hurricane Katrina. The lawsuit claims that St. Bernard Parish repeatedly tried to block development of affordable apartment complexes. It also set up a difficult approval process for single-family rentals and eliminated multifamily housing across much of the parish. Parish President David Peralta has not commented on the lawsuit, which involves ordinances and zoning regulations enacted under previous administrations. The largest parcel of land in Harahan is now just that, a parcel of land. As today, after 84 years, Colonial Country Club closed its doors. Today was the final day for members to play golf at the club. Colonial is more than $7 million in debt, and all plans in previous years to pay off the debt failed to win support. Members say it is scheduled now to go to public auction February 22nd. Coming up, Curtis is becoming more than just a football powerhouse. And in his final sports cast at Channel 4, Jim Henderson leaves us with one last commentary. We'll have that and much more next. But for them, Joe Montana. Look at all these dinosaur movies. Wow, that's so cool. That's cool. When you need to access your DVR for your favorite shows. I like robots now. Or a library of on-demand choices. Horses. Horses. Thousands of HD choices. You know what? I like girls now. No, no, you don't. Even watch live TV on your iPad. When you need more choices and more ways to watch, we're there. Start watching live TV on your iPad, anywhere in your house, with Cox TV Connect. Download the free app today. <coughs> Off to gang and showtime. Uh, do you know this guy? I'm not gonna cry, am I? Only if you don't believe in the power of friendship. Really? You guys are good. Your favorite movies, right when you want them. Watch unlimited TV episodes and movies instantly through your game console or other devices. All for only eight bucks a month from Netflix. That's so cute, it's stupid. From your neighborhood to our newscast, Eyewitness News is everywhere. Go to www.ltv.com. Upload your pictures, videos, and tips, or email them to eyewitness at www.ltv.com. And be an eyewitness with Channel 4, Louisiana's news leader. The best Mardi Gras app just got better. Download the Experience Mardi Gras app and get real-time parade tracking, notifications on last-minute changes, and register to win a free iPad from Tabasco and Zatarax. Log on to WWLTV.com for details. Indian Nation. Big G Holy. A fall of spirit. Big G Holy. What is diabetes? It's a silent killer capable of robbing you blind, stealing your hearing, and breaking your heart. Nearly six out of 10 adults in the greater New Orleans area are at risk of developing type two diabetes. But Text for Health, a new text message-based diabetes prevention service can help keep you out of that number. Text HEALTH to 300400 to learn about your diabetes risk and tips for healthier living. 
In just a minute, Jim Henderson will do what he has done best for 34 years. This sports cast will be his last here on Channel 4. We'll lead into it now with some words from another sports legend and friend, Archie Manning. Well, it's actually kind of a sad day for me because um, I'll miss seeing Jim on, on the air. Uh, but a happy day because I know he's going to kind of run right out in the sunset and catch a whole bunch of bass. Uh, he's a dear friend. Uh, I, I just cherish uh, the year, the 12 years that we did Saints uh, broadcast together, the 20 something years that we did uh, Thursday nights and Sunday nights and so forth on, um, on WWL TV. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a real pro at uh, his profession uh, and he's a great guy and, and a dear friend and uh, I wish him the best. And we all wish, wish him the best. We can't believe it's your last mm -hmm. sportscast. My God, you are a true professional. We Eventually, I'm going to get this right. <laughs> You'll get it right. <laughs> and the Super Bowl is what you're looking at. Huh? Talking about that, first of all, it's a Super Bowl rematch of four years ago in the first game ever between Super Bowl quarterbacks who have each won a Super Bowl Most Valuable Player Award. And while it's likely that either Tom Brady or Eli Manning will be the Super Bowl MVP again come Sunday night, the Giants will hope to run the ball with Ahmad Bradshaw at full health along with Brandon Jacobs. The Giants were dead last in the NFL this season, running the football, but have the weapons to do much better than that. We haven't been running the ball that well, you know, and we have been running it a little better lately than we have been beginning the season. Eli's took the offense on his back, and we do the best we, and we, do the best we can to keep people off of him and to keep teams honest. And running the ball is something that we still strive to do. Crosstown rivals met tonight at the Castle. Dillard's iconic coach Bernard Griffith is enduring a brutal season. He hoped that it would get better tonight against the Knights of Suno. In the second half, Dillard's Jordan Kilson comes up with the steal, but down at the other end, Suno's Devin White has other ideas about surrendering a layup. Later, the Blue Devils will go inside and then kick it out to Myron McGowan, who buries the three. The Knights were still up by five and on their way to a 10-point win as Dillard falls to 1-17 and 17 on the season, falling tonight to Suno 73-63. Meanwhile, the Dillard women were uh, being beaten by Suno as well, 64-62. John Curtis is ranked in their usual position at the top of 2A, but it's the sport they're ranked number one in that's a bit unusual. When you think John Curtis, the powerful football program comes to mind. In December, the Patriots captured their 24th state crown. Do it again. The success on the turf is now transferring to the court. With an assist from football star Dylan Gordon and a winning culture from J.T. Curtis, the basketball team is sitting on top of the 2A rankings. The winning in football has truly helped in them coming to basketball. It makes a huge difference. J.T.'s his, just his presence and his, the way he teaches people have, have spooned over to all of sports. Since Timmy Bird took over at Riverside, the Rebels have dominated local teams. Bird's unbeaten streak spanned 13 years in district. That streak ended last Tuesday against Curtis. When we played Riverside, you know, you set goals. And the first goal was to beat Riverside in district. And then from there, you could feed off of that to go further. Last year, we were three points away from beating them here last year. And, uh, you know, so we, we, we feel that we've reached a, a point where we can compete with anybody in the state. We all had that fight in our eyes. Like, we, we wasn't about to lose to them. It's just, Riverside, it was cocky, so we just wanted to bring them down, show them that they can lose. Curtis attained a major goal taking down Riverside, but the Rebels can return the favor in 11 days. It's sweet that we were the first ones to beat them, but, you know, it's, it's not the end of the season for them or us. It's one game, one district game, and that's, so to speak, history. So we've got to beat them again on the 10th. Before my first sports cast here at Channel 4 nearly 34 years ago, I was given the company of an armed guard. The station was fearful that a disgruntled supporter of my predecessor might take a shot at me. I thought then that that would be the hardest sports cast I would ever have to deliver here. I haven't been afforded an armed guard tonight, but I found that I was wrong. It wasn't the first sports cast that was the hardest, it's the last. In my very first commentary, in my very first week, I asked for your patience, that I didn't know the difference between a South African Krugerrand and a French Quarter. But if you would stay with me, I would try to learn. 
You have and I have. I have learned that a South African Krugerrand might feel better in your wallet, but a French Quarter felt better in your soul, and a little worse the next morning in your head. The best description I have ever heard of this indescribable city is that New Orleans is a long, lingering kiss on the lips of excess. I wish I had said that, but I'm happier that I have lived that in the embrace of a place, its people, this station, and its employees that I've grown to love. I have had no more admiration for anyone I've been privileged to meet in sports than former Saints President Jim Finks. When you had an audience with him and he knew it was time to move on for him or for you or for you both, he would take his leave with the phrase, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Jim, you are not only the best sports writer, you are the best writer. You are oh, sweet. such a team player, such a good sport, the Clark Griswold of family <laughs> men. Thank you for your friendship, and thank you to your family for sharing you with us all, oh, over, all of these years. You guys are so exactly. nice. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Only a writer as good as Jim Henderson could begin to put into words what he has meant to all of us, what this community has meant to him here and throughout the city during his 34 years at Channel 4. Now we want to share in words, music, and memories some of the highlights of what has been an amazing career. I can't think of a polysyllabic synonym to better express my reaction to that game yesterday in Miami. Archie Mannings is the biggest veteran name to be added to a list of the departed that has grown very fast in a very short time. The sad part of the whole scenario. Buenos tardes. Good afternoon from Mexico City. Where just moments from now, the New Orleans Saints get their 1978 preseason schedule underway against the Philadelphia Eagles. News is Walter Cronkite once said, People expect things to go right. When they go wrong, that's news. New Orleans sports. Is made of well, when we left Muhammad Ali at five, he just finished his morning workout in his Deer Lake, Pennsylvania training camp. The courting of Mark and Belito began here at Brother Martin High School and became more intense with every fresh headline. Eventually, 44 universities around the country wanted him. They were as diverse as the states they represented. Can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons of my life? And then there's the understated yet equally ridiculous look such as this that only Johnny Cash would wear if he played golf. I can tell you, my little French bathing suit had come in today, I'd have been at the front of the yeah, line. You looked like that before the war. Before the war, I did. You were shot with that fat gun. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, the dry cleaner called and he said your uh, feather boa couldn't get out in time for today, <laughs> but he will have it ready for tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'll have a little fishing to do this weekend. Oh, you're the going Giants to game. Well, you Sunday. didn't ask me. I, oh, well, no, but Mark I. Garland. Well, no, that's, Nash. that's true, too, but uh, I wanted to have a good time. You know, through 20 long years, the New Orleans Saints and their fans lost a lot of games, didn't they? A lot of games. But we always won the party. You think we ought to inform these folks that they've mistakenly gotten in line for Sugar Bowl basketball tickets? I had no idea Old Miss and Temple would bring so many people to town. <laughs> down there playing, did you ever take note of individual fans in the stands? Just the ones that were armed. Just the ones that were armed. Who wins the game on Sunday? Would I look like Jerry Glanville or something? I mean, that's that's not my job. Uh, you know, I would tell you to buy a ticket, because you've never bought a ticket to anything. I, I don't know who's going to win the game. Does this team have enough speed? Uh, you know, if you're tougher than the other guy, you don't have to run away from him as much. One week from tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. Tomorrow in New Orleans, as the Super Bowl champion New Orleans Saints parade through the city, will be Dat Tuesday. In this wonderful Mardi Gras season, we will celebrate Lombardi Gras. We stage Mardi Gras parades as much for others as we do for ourselves. Lombardi Gras belongs to us. All the Saints fans everywhere who kept the faith. If faith can be defined as a belief not resting on logical proof or material evidence, there have been no fans of a professional football team more faithful than you. A 
full page ad I saw in the newspaper in support of the Saints prior to yesterday's game said, the hopes of a city will finally go marching in. In the darkest moments in the history of this team and the city it represents, hope couldn't be extinguished, hope couldn't be submerged, hope couldn't be buried. Yesterday, hope was rewarded and faith was confirmed. This is such a wonderful time to be a Saints fan, a resident of New Orleans and the Gulf South. We are special, and now thanks to the massive exposure the Saints have given us, the whole world knows. Embrace that feeling as you embrace one another. No one can begin to understand it, to appreciate it, and to revel in it like you do. Know that, believe that. Hope that we could, faith that we would, have both been realized as this wonderful feeling washes over us. That was such a special time. You you covered, uh, you did play-by-play -play for CBS for a while. Mm -hmm. You said you enjoyed it, but you weren't invested in who won or lost, and you loved it back here because you were invested, and that, that sort of shows it. I mean, you were part of that team. You were so much part of that win, really. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great to be sitting in that seat. And I remember when, that year in 1990 when I did CBS with Hank Stram, I would always play a game with myself when we were on the road, and I really didn't know how the Saints had done that day when we got back to the airport to try to just feel how quickly I could determine whether they had won or they had lost, and it didn't take very long. <laughs> and it was that kind of passion that I think you miss. When you call a game for the network, you can get on that plane and fly home, and it's over for another week. But uh, when you're here and you do a game for the Saints, you live with it for an entire week, for an entire season, for an entire offseason. And it's a tremendous privilege to have been a part of them, and that will continue. I'm just thankful that I know we're not going to have Jim across the table from mm -hmm. us anymore, but I'm just thankful to know that we can still turn down our sets and listen to Jim, and that's going to be a pleasure still. But, Jim, I'm worried about you. I think you're going to get bored. I think you're going to pull a <laughs> Brett Favre. You're going to be coming back out of retirement. Please let <laughs> me come try, back please. to work. Well, the I'll door's think, always open. Always welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'll remember that. I'll, and I'll become a big fan of the 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Our 9 o'clock news on Channel 54. We'll put a 34 on your cake today for 34 years. Should have put just number one, my friend. Yeah, you guys are so sweet. You're, it's, this has been a wonderful day and a wonderful time. I'm getting really sick of myself. You know? <laughs> I've seen so much of myself today, probably more than anybody else wanted to see, but I appreciate you doing all that. You're the Thank you so much. It's been awesome to work with you. Yes, Thanks, it does. That's our news for now. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Channel 4 is part of Belo, listed on the New York Stock Exchange as PLC. Just when you thought you were done with your paint project, you discover paint.